Hello everybody and welcome to um another video. So sorry I couldn't post a video in the last couple of days, but I have one here for you now. So I'm going to show you how to build a combination block, a lever one, and today I already have the materials and I have started our build off with just a simple wall with three levers for the demonstration. Um you can customize this. This is very, you you will be able to customize this very easily. Um, I put the levers one block apart from each other just because it's easier this way. If you put them next to each other, it's gonna be harder to make this work. So lever number one. I'm gonna start with lever number one. So you're gonna. Since I have two other levers, because I have three levers, so this is going to be my main lever. And then two more. Now my combination for demonstration is going to be down, up, down. So, to make this up, well, first of all, the main lever. Um... To make this down, you just do a normal thing, but the main lever, there's something about it. Since I have two other levers, I'm going to leave two gaps in this redstone trail. So that's for gap number one. And they have to be at least two blocks apart. It's gap number one, gap number two. Yep. And now this right here. It's going to be our output. So this you can run into whatever you want. I'm going to show you just how to build a simple piston door. A four by two by two door. It's gonna be really easy. Anyone can do it. But now here, you wanna place the repeaters in front of your gaps and redstone dust on the remaining blocks. Now in each gap, you're going to go exactly first block, second block, third block. And you're going to place a piston, sticky one. And you can gather everything I have here. And you're going to place a block on it. Now, if this is on, this is pushed, this lever is on. And if there's a block there, basically or a piston extending, the repeater will travel the signal through the block that's extended into the redstone dust. If this weren't extended, the signal would stop here, for example. Now we're going to build our other piston. So, another one. And I'll place the block. So now, this is going to be my, where my second one is because they are one block apart. All the levers that I decided to do. Now, this is going to be done, down and this is going to be up. So, how do you make it up? I'll teach you. So, I'm just going to run this to the side so it's easier. So, first of all, you need a block. And you need redstone, so just check if we flip, yep. You need redstone running onto the block in any way. For example, this could be without that. So it could just be redstone right here, just like so, into a block. But actually that's good. And this is down and this is up. So now what you're going to do is you're going to place a redstone torch on another side of the block. And then from this redstone torch, you're going to put your output. So my output is just <coughs> a piece of redstone dust.
and what I'm doing with this redstone dust is just taking it into the piston, of course. The good thing about this is that this piston won't activate. And I need a repeater here so that this does not happen. I place that. Now let's say I were to turn this down. It would not work. Because if this is on, sending power through the block, Telling the redstone torch to be off because that's because this is on and then there can't be signal sent to the piston to push out the block. So now we can flip this down to get the correct combination. So flip this up. So down up. Now we just need to connect the other piston with a simple line of redstone dust. Or redstone repeaters. I am going to do this by just placing repeaters in every place where redstone can collide with redstone. Or at least every place I think. Now if we flick this on there should be a redstone app, and let me just type this in. There we go. Now this is your output. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm just going to show you how to build the door. So, let's build a little room. This is going to be the room, okay? This is going to be where the door is. Just like that. Now, I'm just going to mess up the redstone so that this isn't always on. Or the combination. And now, you just wanna go over here and um, basically make your door. Yeah, so you just basically make one block of space and then place your pistons. And again, one block of space and just like so, place your pistons. Place blocks in front of them. You're obviously gonna want to place a floor. It's gonna make you leading into the wide open desert. And that's gonna be like that. So now you've got your two pistons. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna place a redstone torch here on the bottom piston so it should be activating the bottom piston place a buck of block above it and if you, if you turn this correctly this should activate both pistons do this on the other side so again you have a block redstone torch block your set this is the closed mode. Now what you want to do is basically get a trail from that block to somewhere else. So I'm just going to do the trail here. Um.
just going to make this trail. Going to connect this to our output. I just gotta place some repeaters so that the because the maximum redstone line can go without repeaters is 15 blocks I think exactly 15 that is not a place for repeaters here we go so now I just place redstone dust and I'm basically done. So I'll quickly demonstrate how this works. Now, if you do not have the correct combination, which I do not, let's say we have this off and this one. So that's not correct. We need these two off. Remember? And then this one up. And then it should open the door. Because all pistons are extended. And then this line is working. And the signal goes through into the pistons. And um, yeah, you can just build this little mechanic here with the redstone torch. And it works just fine. So that is going to be it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed. Slap a like and goodbye. Always remember to subscribe. Bye.